What is going on guys? Today I'm doing a review of the Top One wireless charging automatic clamping car mount. So I'm gonna talk about the pros and the cons and then I'm gonna give you some of my own real life experience. And if at any point in the video you guys wanna check this car mount out, I'll have an Amazon link below. But let's jump right into it. Now the first thing is the quality. These things, I kept seeing them everywhere on ads and everything. And I was expecting them to be terrible quality, just coming from China, terrible, crappy quality. that didn't really work. And some of them are. There's a ton of remakes of this same product. However, I got the real original one. That's why I wanted to put the link below so you guys could pick up the right one. I've looked at a ton of these and you'll find that some of them have terrible, awful reviews and they aren't the actual original one, which is this one, which has great quality. Now the metal looking parts actually are plastic. However, it would probably be extremely expensive if it was metal, but they're not like super cheap plastic. It's not like you tap it in. It's like cheaper feeling breakable plastic. These are actually strong plastic and it's really premium feeling. Now the next pro is the clamping. It clamps your phone tightly down. I didn't think it was gonna do that. I thought it was gonna like, oh, kind of, you know, just get in there a little bit. It holds your phone in there. I actually live in West Virginia and there are potholes and dirt roads more of the time than there are asphalt. And this thing will stay in there no matter what pothole comes along the way, which is actually more than I can say for all the phone mounts that I've tested out, which have been a lot. Now the next pro is the wireless charging. Now there's a couple pros inside of this one. Now the first one is quick wireless charging. And if you guys don't know, wireless charging takes longer than traditional plug-in charging. So getting a fast wireless charger for any of them inside or in your car is kind of essential. Just having a normal wireless charger won't actually charge your phone that quickly. And this one will charge it super fast and keep it at that level while you're driving. This is especially important if you have a really powerful phone and it needs a lot of energy. If you have a wireless charger in your car and it's not quick charging it, it might actually die faster than it's going to charge it. Now the next pro, which also has something to do with the wireless charging, you obviously have to plug in the entire phone mount because it needs power to clamp it as well as charge it. This is all done through a USB-C cable and they give you a cigarette lighter port with two different ports in it so you can plug in this thing as well as another accessory, phone, headphones, whatever you want, which is really sweet. And it has the fast charging capabilities inside of that cigarette lighter port. I personally have my cable plugged into my FM transmitter, but I did try it with the cigarette lighter and it works fantastic. Now the big pro, what you guys really wanna know, how is it when you're actually using it? What's the real life experience with the clamping? It's really cool. So it is automatic sensing. However, most of the time it's easier to just tap it. You can see two little sensors. I usually just tap it. However, sometimes you can just wave your hand over it and it'll open and then you put your phone on it and it closes. Now, however, it's a little misleading because sometimes it looks like once you put your phone on it, the sensors, you know, see that the phone's on it and then they close. Unfortunately, that's not exactly how it works. So whenever you trigger the sensor, it will open. However, it is on a short timer and then after it, it will close. So it doesn't actually sense it for closing. It only senses it for opening. However, I haven't noticed it as a problem because it's long enough where you can put your phone in there, no problem. And it's quick enough that it doesn't take too long to get going. Now as well, living with this thing is absolutely fantastic. Before I would take my phone out, take the cable, plug it in, put it on my phone mount and squeeze the phone mount together. And that actually takes a bit of a process when you get in your car. With this, all you have to do is put it right up to it. The thing opens by itself, you put the phone in and you're done. It closes by itself, it starts charging by itself. It's really nice. Also, if you take your phone in and out of the phone mount while you're driving, I don't recommend this. However, some people do do this. It makes you safer because you don't have to look and close everything yourself or open it yourself. And that leads me to the next part of real life experience. To open it, you tap the back of it. There's a part on the back of the phone mount that has a sensor there, so you touch it and the phone mount opens. However, if you turn your car off and forget to take your phone out, your phone will be clamped in there. However, you can actually pull it up and out fairly easily. It's still in there pretty tough. However, it's not gonna break it and you don't exert a ton of energy pulling it out. Now, another pro, and this isn't as much real life experience, but just a pro, there is a ton of colors for this, different styles, all different types. I couldn't even name all of them. There's probably over 10, but if you guys do wanna go check out any of those colors or options or styles or whatever, again, remember there's an Amazon link below. You can also check the reviews. They're really, really good. This is the correct one to buy if this is what you want. But now we're gonna move into the cons. Now, there's not very many cons for this product because of how cheap it is and everything that it gives you. However, the only con that I would have to give it is the mounting capability. So when you get it, it actually has a really strong clip and it clips to your climate vent. Now, this is just a personal con. If you like it on your climate vent and it works very well, it's very strong in there. However, in my car, it's not in the best spot for me. I don't want it in my climate vent. I like it in the middle of my dashboard. However, my old phone mount was actually a CD tray one. So you put it in the CD, you open it and it stays in the CD tray. It wasn't automatic or anything. And I definitely like this one better. However, it had the same mounting capability 
as the other one. It's a ball on this little screw. So I actually switched that out and put it in the CD tray mount instead. And it works fantastic. It's right in the middle of my dashboard. Now you can actually just get that attachment alone if you would like that, or you can get a suction cup, but everything that it says it's going to offer for this, it follow throughs on, and it does an absolutely fantastic job of it. Don't try to cheap out and get these other crappy ones. They have terrible reviews. This is the only original one. I don't want you to almost make the mistake like I did. Go to the Amazon link below if you're interested in this product. But guys, if you enjoyed my review and it helped you out, help me out and throw a like below, but I'll see you guys later. Loss out.